storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. It's lonely, nigga. Now we got Justin Bieber here. That they came into the office <sighs> with with half his uh, half his face paralyzed. They call it Ramsey something palsy, uh, Bell's palsy, something like that. Here's the thing: the doctor's gonna give an official diagnosis that I can't say on air because the World Health Organization has an agreement with YouTube, and uh, you cannot say anything against the World Health Organization. But this is clearly. Uh, 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 um, uh, in effect, an adverse reaction of, you know, the, you know what I'm let's, that, 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 let's call it the Condoleezza. Okay. This is clearly, clearly an adverse reaction to the Condoleezza. Do, do y'all, do, do y'all understand? Do y'all understand between his wife, Haley, that had that damn stroke. And now half his face is damn paralyzed. Half half the face in hell, half in heaven. Half of it's dead. Oh shoot! Wait a minute. We gotta sing. We got that wonder bread, wonder bread, that wonder bread news. Ooh. We got that wonder bread, wonder bread, wonder bread, wonder bread, wonder bread. Uh, we got that wonder bread news, that stale ass news, that unseasoned news, that frozen news, that karmic news. My face ain't working ass news. <laughs> white boy used to be a black boy in the back being a white boy news we got that want the bread 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 on oh, we got that want the bread news y'all think he gonna admit what did this or no y'all think he gonna tell the truth or no but no he can't because he would lose all his damn sponsorships. He can't. You see what happened to Wendy when she spoke out against the Condoleezza. She ain't been right ever since. And they three steps away from Joan Riverser and uh, uh, Wendy Williams. Why y'all think Wendy Williams was in that dark ass room with that tatted, ratted wig in there hollering about everything that Joan gave? Because they know they finna send her ass right to them underground cities. Exactly where they put Joan Rivers and Tupac and Elvis Presley to. Y'all already know. Come on, man. Come on. So we already know the Condoleezza and fucked his face up. But I still also say not only was this the Condoleezza, this was the ancestors. Because Justin, I remember when you were one less lonely nigga. Don't you remember that? Don't you remember you was talking all that shit about black folks? You had all them black jokes but had to have a black man help you to get put on. Because see, the, the, they want to say that Scooter Braun is the one that put... Yeah, Scooter Braun might have helped put you on. But it was Ursher that put the seal of approval on you. It was Lil Twist that took them charges for you. It was the niggas that gave you legitimization and I have to look at these niggas and hip hop a little weird that they always go out of their way to legitimize the, the, the wonder bread but don't do the same for their own they will literally steal from their own but go out of their way to to, 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 to to let it outside of air so I still remember when you were one less lonely nigga. I remember when you was causing all that havoc in LA you was pissing all in, in, in buckets and shit janitor buckets and shit man so that now they got a mop the flow with piss and shit and you sitting there laughing at the shit and for everybody that was like Storm he was young he didn't know better I'm so sick of y'all bitches and these young ass excuses bitch you 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 over the age of 13 bitch your sins on you that's what I was told I was told after the age of 12 or 13 your sins is on you bitch so if your sins is on you bitch you old enough to know right from motherfucking wrong he was one less lonely nigger. and now you only got one half of your damn face the ancestors waited to paralyze your shit to freezing in time you was one less lonely nigga you looking like them damn wonder breads in beverly hills that <laughs> they get all that botox you know some of the bitches in beverly hills purposely make their face that way so look at it this way justin you don't even need to go get no botox you already there you snatch yas queen happy pride justin happy pride you one less lonely nigga and, and, and for everybody that's like what well, storm don't you ever forgive don't you ever know no, did he ever give reparations did he ever say thank you to the niggas that helped him? Ush, like, like Usher, Usher helped you, and you, you didn't even have to fuck Usher. Like Usher had to fuck Diddy. You one less lonely. Uh.
Did you ever apologize a little twist? Did you do any of that? Did you even apologize to Selena Gomez for all the hell that you put her through? Did you even apologize to Selena Gomez and her non enunciating ass? Selena Gomez don't enunciate and neither do Ariana Grande. But you one less lonely in her. I don't forget shit, bitch. And y'all think I give a damn because his face paralyzed? I don't give a fuck. He'll be all right. Because he ain't one less lonely in her. Better use your white privilege and get it together. So I'm going to write you a script to get online and tell the truth about what got the right side of your face looking like you ate some bad ass in the strip club. Uh, next part of your script is that I'm going to go send you to a naturopathic doctor so you can cleanse themselves out, get all of the metals and all that gunk and shit out your system, get some natural medicine up in you. But you can't go to you can't go to one less lonely earth. You can't go to no black naturopathic. So you want to go to the to the caucus mountains and find you a witch doctor up there or a spiritual doctor up there to help your ass. But uh, Western medicine is not going to help you. Uh, <laughs> And I'm just, I'm also just gonna, write, I'm just gonna write you a script just to keep being the fuck ass that you are. Let me tell you something between you, Justin Bieber, Christina Aguilera, y'all hoes, Miley Cyrus, y'all hoes won shit after Justin Timberlake, y'all hoes won shit after y'all let the black music go. When y'all was sounding black, y'all had hits. When y'all went to the white side, it wasn't shit. We just go to show what none of y'all really all that talented in the first fucking place, to be honest. And Justin, you can't dance. I don't know who told you you can't dance. See, y'all don't know the T. See, y'all went to school with a dude that worked with you, Justin. He opened for you a few times. And he talked about how much of an asshole you are. How you was demanding all kinds of shit backstage. Coming in late, being a straight diva. This was before you blew up, blew up. This was right on the rise. This was definitely 2010, 20, yeah, 2010, 2011. And that ain't no allegedly straight diva. You can't dance. Your vocals is shit, wasn't nothing special about you, and you spent the first half of your life looking like a lesbian. We didn't know if it was you or Ellen DeGeneres when you first came out. We really didn't. Now you looking like a verse stud, at least. Happy Pride! It's Storm Show. It's Storm Show.